Schaefer here with Sam Schaefer Numismatics, and I'm coming to you today from my office in Indianapolis, and I'm going to be showing how to take great coin photos with a setup that costs less than $100. Now, this may be surprising. I know that you can spend a lot of money on camera setups for coins. You know, there's expensive DSLR cameras that are, you know, $1,000 or more, and it's really not needed to take very good photos. So, you know, these are the photos that you see on our eBay page, and we've gotten plenty of compliments about these photos. Um, and so the goal is to, you know, we're not trying to make the coins look unnatural. We just want a nice, accurate picture which shows luster, which shows toning, which shows the surfaces without the coin being blurry. This is one way to achieve that without spending a lot of money. And I think for most collectors or dealers, that is very helpful. So here is the exact setup that I use. Now you might be surprised, but I actually use a phone. So you might be thinking, phone pictures? How can, phone, how can a phone take adequate enough uh, coin photos? And not only that, I use a dated phone. This is a Droid Motorola Turbo 2. Now, this is not a comparison about Apple or Android. It's really nothing of that at all. This is simply all about the Droid Turbo 2. This phone was made kind of, you know, this is about three or four years old now, and it was kind of at the end of the era as far as the outside camera of the phone goes. You know, nowadays, it's all about that inside camera. It's all about taking photos that are, you know, selfie photos. So there's less need to develop a really great front side camera, as they like to say. The Droid Turbo 2 features a 24 megapixel camera, and it has zoom capabilities that actually can zoom up to 2x, or excuse me, up to 4x. Now, I wouldn't generally recommend zooming up to 4x, but it can be helpful if you're trying to photograph varieties or things that, you know, you really need to get up close on. So here's the other part of the setup. So we have our Droid Turbo 2. You can buy a Turbo 2, a refurbished phone off eBay, which is this where this one came from, for anywhere from $25 to $100. And, you know, they're, they're really, actually really not bad phones. It's actually the phone I still use because I'm always taking coin photos. Uh, so I, I don't mind them. And they're very cheap to replace because they're an older phone. You do not need any kind of a phone contract to use a Droid Turbo 2. You can simply use your home or your office Wi-Fi, and that will give you access to applications like eBay, um, as well as some other social media applications. And, you know, as long as you're not using it to text back and forth, you don't need any kind of a SIM card in the phone to make it operational. The other thing we use um, are these desk lamps. And these are just standard desk lamps that I purchased off of Amazon. So the key here is though, we use 100 watt incandescent bulbs or 60 watt incandescent. So I'm not sure what we've got in here right now, but both are, are really quite adequate, adequate. Looks like these are, um, these are 60 it looks like. So 60s are good, 100s are good. 100 watt is actually what they recommend for grading. Why I like incandescents for photos is they take very natural photos. They don't take photos that look just awkward. Um, I don't like ot lights. I don't like halogens. Um, they just they don't look right. A, a an incandescent shot is going to be what the coin looks like in hand, in you know, kind of like your normal lighting. Um, it's not going to make it look glowing like sometimes you go to coin shows and and those the lights they use there can be just really make everything look sparkling awesome and that's that's not the point actually incandescents kind of show everything uh, flaws and all but they certainly make nice coins look good too so let's see um, actually how to do this so that's what the coffee mug is for some of you are probably wondering why is there a coffee mug in the picture well, I'm just trying to advertise myself, of course, now. <laughs> but I figured, hey, why not? Sam Schaefer, Nemus Maddox, go. So that is actually for uh, stabilizing the phone. And you don't have to do this. It's, you know, purely optional. But we can go ahead and uh, pull up our camera here. And 
then we'll start out, we'll put a barber, we get a um, barber half dollar here. So we'll come down here. And for silver, I generally recommend keeping the lights like pointed at each other, kind of uh, diffusing a little bit that light. Then you take your coin and make sure it's positioned. And go ahead and, you know, I be, be real careful about the zoom. You don't want to go too much. And the nice thing about this phone, too, this is how awesome these photos are. So you have your slider here, which controls the brightness. So you can really do some fine-tuning adjustment. You've got your slider, so you can go in and out. You know, here, here's a great idea, like if you're trying to shoot some varieties. That's pretty cool. Um, you can also angle the phone if you're trying to show toning. That's something a DSLR camera has a really hard time doing because it's usually locked into place. With the versatility of the Turbo 2, you know, it really can do some great things. Um, and again, for such a minimal cost, it's absolutely awesome. So, Run.2 is actually a pretty good zoom. Um, you can really, the best zoom, the least pixelation is going to be a standard one zoom. And the cool thing is you can just press anywhere to take the photo. So once it's taken, we're just going to slide over here. And then we go ahead and crop the photo. And I'm kind of looking over on the other phone right now. And we'll go ahead and crop that down and take a look at how our coin looks. And right there you have a high resolution, crystal clear coin picture. Again, this setup costs $100 or less. It's very easy to replicate this setup. I can't recommend this phone enough for coin photos. It's just, it simplifies the whole thing. And, you know, photos are everything. Whether you are a coin collector, whether you're a dealer, you have to have great photos to be able to showcase your coins. You know, all you people out there using Instagram, it doesn't have to be the best uh, setup in the world. You know, you can really kind of boost up your Instagram page by start putting out some nice uh, toning photos with a fo phone like this. And again, it's such a little investment, it's a no-brainer. So hope you enjoyed this video, and um, you know if you have any questions about this setup, I would be happy to answer them. As always, we appreciate your likes, comments, shares, any feedback that you have. Again, this is Sam Schaefer with Sam Schaefer Numismatics, and we are located in Indianapolis, Indiana. We're open six days a week to help with all of your coin needs. We do appraisals, we purchase coins and collections, uh, we do coin grading. I'm an authorized dealer for NGC and PCGS. If you have coin needs, we can get them taken care of, and I certainly look forward to serving you if that is uh, something that you're interested in. Have a great day, everyone.